So here we are in Jeff's second workshop, and here he is working on the outrigger plate. The outrigger plate for the left-hand side of the bike. And as you can see, he's making lots of swarf, it's and that and that hole is the hole that you set up yesterday. But one, on the bike. Yep. I've now got the centered the datum point centered on the miller, yep. and we can bore it out now to suit the bearing. Brilliant. So. so, after about another 20 cuts. So that tool then is obviously, let me just zoom in on that before you spy up again. We'll zoom in, on and, the, so we, and so we can see how it works. On the borer. So that's your borer. Cutting tip on a yeah. sliding dovetail joint. So, as it spins round, obviously that makes a hole. And as you move that as, 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 you out, di as you turn that dial, turn that, it pushes it further out, so it bores a bigger hole. And obviously, you can't do a big hole all in one. You've got to do it step by oh, step. Oh, you can You've just you can put. I've seen people put like a cutting tip in, and <laughs> yes, yeah, you can not, cut through it, but you've got to be careful what happens to the piece of metal that you yeah, yeah. suddenly detaches so how, itself. So, what steps do you need? Like a mill at a time, or uh, I think that's a couple. Uh, about a mill cut. Okay, so let's cut. see that happen then. Here we go, second mill cut. Action shot. I'm going to stand back now. Leave the fluid off it for yeah. camera yeah. shots or your camera will be covered in. <laughs> Automatic, amazing. Safety devices on all machinery. Yeah, as in you haven't got any. Right. So let's see. The Last cut, and will the bearing fit? It's. Oh, that's that's good. Just about in there. Yeah. Oh, Oops. Perfect. Perfect. So that ain't going to go anywhere, is it? <laughs> you can't. Once he's pressed in the cap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to remove well, the plate off not to get. We've now got this. Um, this this piece to hold it in place, haven't we? Is it stuck? It, it will be pressed into there. It's an interference fit in there, yeah. but it's a slide fit in it. It means that yeah. So it'll be. Proud, should we it? need to get the sprocket? Yeah. I've got to allow to yeah. possibly get the sprocket off the so end. So now of the you've got to shaft. drill this to match these holes. Oh, you know. Yeah, the I've, I, I can actually place it on there, and I can mark the holes and thread the plate. Uh, I have to use a ring of. Uh, 8 mil E, yeah, uh, 8 mil bolts, yeah. yeah. The holes are bigger than what they should be, but with 8 in there, it's It'll be not fine. going anywhere. Brilliant. And then we'll see it on the bike. This Soon. was a wheel spacer that's been converted <laughs> to do this. All right, this you've is uh, why recycled it. It's been recycled. Out of all kinds of weird and wonderful things. We're thinking of the planet. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Anyway, it'd be great to see that plate with all this done on the bike soon. Okay, and next. Okay, so we've got this plate off the miller. Nice now... board hole in there. Just taking the razor sharp edge off the off it. With a deburrer. Okay. It's so useful even I've got one. And let's just see that deburrer and see what it looks like. Little it's... cutting tip that swivels yeah, as you cool. spin it round. They don't, they don't stay sharp very long, do they? But they're damn useful. They're all right on aluminium for a while. Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. And next. And now that bearing in its cap will hopefully press snugly, it snugly into there with no like movement. That. Okay. And you can't quite spin it now to it's line so tight. It up for re drilling. That is yeah. a lovely fit. Fit. Let's just zoom in on that. First time I've ever got anything that good. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and now, of course, we, you've got to match. Now, of course, you've got to match. Oh, these. Count, count all the holes on there. Yeah. And thread the plate. And like I said, with eight. 8 milli cap head bolts in there. Yeah. The only that's, place that's going is with the bike. Yeah, that's hopefully. brilliant. And that's that. One more step done on the road to our spare bike being completed. We've just got to mill the plate to yeah. to the 
lines, yeah. that's why the blue ink's on it, it's yeah. easier to work with to get... Yeah, that blue ink is just kind of like a dye, isn't it? You paint it on with a brush and then you can scribe on... Identification ink. And then you can scribe on marks and you whatever, can, you, which you, helps. It's great for working with, you can see yeah. lines yeah. Great. much, much and, more and, and, that, and that one there, under your hand, that's another... That is an auxiliary point where a fuel pump or I have in mind an external oil pump. Yeah, a secondary oil pump. A secondary oil pump can to be fitted to help the top end and the pistons. Uh, to lubricate the barrels and pistons on the skirt faces and supply mm -hmm. higher pressure to the cams. Yeah, yeah, because they do suffer when you're running high boost. 25, 30 pounds boost. Yeah, yeah. At least, yeah. Methanol will have a tendency to wash it off the bars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. Oh, right, uh, yeah, right this is a go. shaft that was previously off something that we bought yeah it's been it's got to be grafted onto the end of the output shaft okay it's got, it's got splines on to match the splines of the sprocket it's got to go in roughly in that space yeah in that space and what i'll need doing yeah because the sh the spline shaft is i think it's 34.8 or 85 it rattles in a 35 mil bearing so we've had to go for a 40 id bearing to make a sleeve so it fits right the shaft and the whole point of that is to support that Th long that, shaft. that will support the output shaft with the sprocket on it because without it of course with that great big Which fat tire on the back see yeah there yeah so that that will roughly look like that yeah live yeah. somewhere roughly around there mm -hmm. when it's and the reason you need it is because you've got that great big 12 inch or whatever it is, 10 inch slick on the 11, back. 11 inch slick. Which puts a huge amount of stress on the gearbox and on that particular output shaft. Correct, yeah, that's right. And that plates, the reason we're doing it is to support that shaft and to help it so a little bit longer. It, it, yeah, it would uh, wreck a standard bearing. Yeah. Plus it looks cool as well, which is even better. Okay. Is it time for tea yet? No. Tea? Tea. Do you want tea? Yeah, of course I do. Make some tea. Right, okay, in that case, we'll end it there and hopefully I'll see you again. Um, it's time for tea, yeah. And hopefully that will be completed by midweek next week when I'll come back and catch up on what's been going on. And until then, cheers and bye. <laughs>